Georgina, Mark, you are part of the Love to Move hybrid estate agency chain who have 30 agents working for you. What's your thoughts on the reasons why fees have been dropping over the last 10 years to the point where we're almost giving our services away? That is a real concern of mine. And, but Chris, I don't know the answer to why agents don't see their full worth um, and why they think it's just about competing on fee. Okay. But isn't that a little bit ironic in the fact that you have a high street agency, but you also have a love to move um, offering which offers cheap as chips fees? Yeah, I think you, you, you might say that's um, ironic, but I think it's probably worthwhile pointing out. Moving works is the highest charging agent within our area. Um, and we didn't bring in cheap to just lower our fee. We did it under a different brand to maintain and improve our fee. So we've always competed um, with slightly lower fees. We offer a premium quality service. The reason we offer an online service next to it is because we believe it's a different service and it can be used to uh, bolster and maintain our core fee. Do you believe that it was Purple Bricks that was and, and their ilk that have driven fees down? Or do you think it was another reason? I think we've always had agents doing lower fees. I think they've perhaps heightened it and increased it. Um, but I think you've always had the agent that will open up, do it silly fee, go out of business, but then there's always someone to take the place. And why do you think agents have pulled their pants down on their fees? Fear. Mm. Fear of what? Fear of losing the instruction. Okay. Um, do you think we are too obsessed with gaining the instruction and not necessarily selling yeah. the house? One of the things, um, you know, we do quite a lot of training with our, our agents and I focus on profitability and go through an exercise. How long do you think, it actually, what's your average transaction? What are you actually earning? You know, what's your profit on it? And I think, and that goes back at, perhaps to the, the love of um, property that, that people have. They love doing the job, but they don't always take that business head to it. Do you think, do you think there's too many people that, that are more estate agents in business as opposed to business people in estate agency then? Yeah. Yeah. And how do we get how do we get over that? Is it training? It's, Is it development? Culture? People? Systems? All the above? Probably all of that. I think there's quite a bit of culture with it, and I think then it's it's training and and development. And you know, a state agency isn't rocket science. It's it's quite a basic procedure, but it's doing it properly and always doing every element of it. And why do you think agents aren't very good at doing the basics well? Short-termism. I think mm. there's definite short Looking for the shortcuts. Yeah. We talked about winning instructions. It's the overvaluing to win instruction. That's classic. Mm. You know, short-termism. Some estate agents will will take just wanting the signature on the paper and then bang, they're on to the yeah. next one. Obsessive about boards. I mean, it's interesting that um, there was a stat that came out about a year ago that 60% of properties sold with the second agent. Yeah. Mm. That kind of follows that up. What would you say to agents who are wanting to increase their fee? What advice would you give them to do that? Just ask more? I would ask more, but I think you've also got to show the client what the difference in service is without dissing your competitor. You know, we, we never do that. Um, it's about, about proving your worth, but you won't do that overnight. It's got to be you know, a gradual process. Okay. You've got to build to it. Okay, and what, what marketing techniques would you advocate to, to prove worth? I always, I suppose, go over and above what the client would expect. Um, we always like to give them a marketing plan um, and have it mapped out for them what they can expect. But I would always aim to do more. So if I've said I'm going to call every other week, I'd make sure I rang every week, that yeah. type of thing. Basics. Over de yeah, basics again, over delivery. Yes. From, from a marketing perspective, I would always look to um, try and provide value and try and provide value from, you know, when day one when they are starting to think um, and being in contact with people you know throughout that journey because selling a house you know it's not like selling a car you don't just wake up one morning and think oh, I'm going to do it because there's, you know that's, yeah. there's a long process and if we can help and educate throughout that process then we're going to be the agent of choice yeah and also to me it's about getting the valuation right you know we're not there to massage a client's ego it's to give them proper advice and if they don't like it then you know maybe as you say you'd be the second agent there mm. but it's to be professional with them yeah. indeed difficult conversations thank you very much guys cheers cheers